Hi guys, welcome to JIK224 Ecolia series. This is the second video covering chapter 1 which is structure and stereochemistry of alkenes. So, uh, in this topic, we will discuss about cyclohexane conformations. So, upon completion of this topic, you should be able to identify the various types of cyclo cyclohexane conformation. Predict which of these conformation is the most stable conformation. And finally, draw a chair conformation. So, what is a chair conformation? The chair conformation of cyclohexane has one methylene group, pocket upward, and another pocket downward. Okay, so the chair is the most stable conformation isomers of cyclohexane, and the chair has no eclipsing interaction. You can see here, there is no more. Uh, if we view from the Newman projection, we can see all the hydrogen atom are staggered. So, bond angles in the chair conformation is 109.5 degrees. So, this is the optimum angle in a tetrahedral carbon. In the bond conformation, all the bonds angle are uh, staggered except this flag pole hydrogen are eclipsed. So, eclipsing bond result in torsional strain. And the twist uh, boat conformation has fewer eclipsing bond interaction and less interference between the flagpole hydrogen. So, in real molecule, the boat conformation actually exists as twist uh, bone, a uh, twist boat. Okay, this is to reduce the eclipsing of the hydrogen atom. So, this uh, is a conformational energy diagram of cyclohexane. Cyclohexane can adopt four non planar uh, conformation, which is chair, half chair, twist, and also boat. Okay? So, the interconversion between the chair conformation requires that cyclohexane go through a higher energy here at half chair conformation to get a ring flip okay so this is actually the chair a chair conformation here uh, undergoes a ring flip or chair to chair interconversion so this chair have to undergoes a half chair conformation a twist a boot a twist again and half chair again so that it can reach the second conformation okay so the chair conformation here is the most stable uh, conformation as compared to the others, followed by twist conformation, both and half chair. So half chair has the highest energy and, and it is the least stable conformation. Okay. In drawing chair conformation, we have to know the axial and equatorial position okay so all the carbon hydrogen bonds are staggered in the chair conformation here it is not eclipsed the axial bonds are directed vertically parallel to the axis of the ring okay you can see here it colored in red all the uh, hydrogen in axial position are vertically directed uh, vertically directed and are parallel to the axis of the ring while the equatorial in green color are directed upward towards the equator of the ring okay all this uh, green colored hydrogen are equatorial hydrogen okay you can see here from the uh, 3d model that all the axes are vertical to the ring and the equatorial are pointing out of the ring. Same here, this is the view from the side and this is the view from above. As they are numbered, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here, the odd number carbon have 
Axials are upwards and equatorial are facing downwards. All at odd number position and at an even number position 2, 4 and 6, the carbon have their downward bonds axial and upward bonds equatorial. All the even numbered have the equatorial position upwards and axial position downwards. Okay? And in order for you to... There are a few steps that you have to follow to draw a chair confirmation. Okay? The first step is that you have to draw the carbon skeleton. Okay? What you have to do here is that you have to draw a three parts of the chair which is a wedge here, a set of parallel lines, one, two, and another wedge. And then you can join them together and it will become a chair conformation. And these three carbon at the front, they are sometimes uh, draw in dark line to show that these three carbons here are pointing towards us. Okay. Step 2 is that you have to label the up carbon and the down carbon on the ring. So there are three up carbon and three down carbon. The up carbon is colored in dark black here and the down carbon is in white color and they are alternate around the ring. So the uh, let's say this is carbon number 1. So all the odd number we have the carbon up facing upwards and the even number will have the carbon facing downwards. Step 3 is that you have to draw in the axial hydrogen atoms. So on an up carbon the axial is up and on down carbon the axial is facing down. Okay? Carbon up will have up hydrogen axial carbon facing down will have down hydrogen uh, axial okay and then step 4 is draw in the equatorial hydrogen atom okay the axial hydrogen is down on the down carbon so the equatorial hydrogen must be up so here we have the axial hydrogen facing down the carbon is facing also facing down so the equatorial hydrogen will be facing up the, uh, and the same goes to uh, the carbon facing up so the acyl hydrogen is up on a, an up carbon so the equatorial hydrogen must be facing down here so now you have all equatorial hydrogen drawn in and also the acyl hydrogen drawn in so this is the complete chair conformation a simple chair conformation okay so uh, we can either draw the chair with the headrest so this is called the headrest to the left and the footrest this is the footrest to the right or vice versa so you should know how to draw both of these chair conformation either the headrest to the left or to the right and also for the footrest, either to the left or to the right. So another approach that you can use to draw the chair conformation is that you can draw a white M. Okay, if you can see here, this is similar to the shape of M. Okay, this is drawn at the above. Okay, and we can draw a white W below it. So W here, we can draw at the bottom of the M shape. So, connect the, the second atom and the fourth atom. So, you can connect these two atoms. And uh, to give the cyclohexan ring with four equatorial bones. Okay, now uh, we have the shape of the chair conformation here. And also, we also have four equatorial bones. One, two, three, four. So, now we have to add two more of the equatorial bones so that it is parallel to the ring okay this is the uh, the drawn m shape and this is the drawn w shape 
So you can add two more equatorial position here, uh, E here, equatorial that is parallel to this uh, line. Okay, and also we can add one more here that is also parallel to this line. Okay, so you can draw in all the axial and equatorial position. You can look at this example. Draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hexameter cyclohexane with all the metal groups in axial position and also in equatorial position. So for A, this is where uh, this is where all the metals axial are in axial position and also the hydrogen are in equatorial position. And for B, all metal groups are now in equatorial position while all the hydrogen will be in axial position. So note that axial group alternate up and down around the ring. So as a summary, cyclohexane can adopt four non-planar conformation which is chair, boat, twist boat and half chair. The most stable conformation is the chair because it has no ecl eclipsing interaction. And each carbon in cyclohexane has two different kinds of hydrogen, which are axial hydrogen that are located above and below the ring along a perpendicular axis and also equatorial hydrogen which are located in the plane of the ring around the equator. So this is the reference and if you have any question, feel free to contact me at my email address and that's it. Thank you.